welcome to a new Harry's Garage video and this one is about the Paris Dakar bike collection again. We're on to bike number five now. So we've gone through the early years, we've gone for the Africa Twin, but there was one manufacturer who kept trying to win Paris Dakar and finally did it in 1990 and that was Kajiva. And this is their 900 IE Elephant Edition and very close to the actual racer and another real personal favourite of mine this bike. Now, you'll notice there's two Kajiva 900 elephants in this collection. There's one over there. There's actually a third elephant and I've got a 750 um, uh, Kajiva elephant as well, which sat over there. Kajiva was this Italian company and they were determined to win Dakar and they put everything into it. Hubert Oriel, who was one of the founding uh, guys who competed in 1979 in the XT500 and then for BMW, so nearly won it in 1986. He was leading and then had a crash on the very last stage, broke both ankles and Honda scraped through with a win with the Aqua Twin. Um, but they, what gets me about Kadiva, this little company you don't really, don't really know, bought out Ducati and they used Ducati engines in their uh, Kajiva Elephant off-road bike. I just can't imagine how Kajiva used to own Ducati back in the um, 80s, but there we go, they did. Because Kajiva won in 1990. Eddie Orioli was the rider. Um, he'd won actually for Honda back in 1988 on the Africa Twin, joined Kajiva, and he won it for them in 1990. The Yamaha, we'll come to it in a moment, the Super Tenere was meant to win, and it didn't, um, the Kajiva did instead. And this is just a mega bike. And this was a limited run bike. So they only made 1,900 IEs and it was to, um, built to celebrate their win. And you can tell um, it's a, um, a 900 IE. They've got um, a gold color on the, uh, on the cam covers I'll show you in a moment on the engine, but you also get this silver plaque. So this bike is number 577 of the special series um, built in 1990 with 900IE. And I feel highly privileged to own this bike and it's made even more magic for me because for my 60th birthday, took a, um, some friends out and we rode a stage of the Paris Dakar race in the Sahara Desert. And I'd bought a, uh, I had a new Africa Twin at the time and I thought I'll take that sensible bike, but I wanted to put some of the collection bikes on as well. And the day before we actually hit the Sahara, I really was struggling with the weight of the modern Africa Twin. And um, I took this Kajiva out and the very first time I'd ever ridden on sand and took the Sahara dunes on was on this bike. And it was magical. It was utterly magical because this is actually a really quite a, a lot of power and this is 68 horsepower now. Yeah, it doesn't sound a lot, 900cc, but it's a light bike. It's up from 57 for the Honda Africa Twin. Um, and it's light because it's air cooled. It's plastic tank. It's got a wonderful clutch. It's a wet clutch on this and it's a, you need a good clutch when we come on to um, when riding. Clutch are critical on off-road bikes because you're using it all the time, feathering the clutch. Really soft clutch, power, and you, it just took me across the dunes. Like, I just couldn't believe what was happening. It's got Olin suspension on it, a standard as well. Um, uber collectible, these bikes, and absolutely right they should be because they are just magic, magic bikes and very close to the actual bike that won uh, Dakar in 1990. And then again in 1994, y Yamaha um, Super 10 didn't compete. They had a fallout with the, um, with the uh, organizers. Kajiva was there, so they actually got two wins with this bike. Slightly strange thing, you normally have a bigger front wheel on an off-road bike. They went, this one, the uh, customer version has a 19 inch wheel. That's the only thing I can criticize it on because it should have a 21 inch. You have a bigger diameter wheel because that rolls over the bumps better. But uh, there we are. Um, just, just for information, I'll just show you this one. I thought I'd never find an original 900 IE. So I actually bought this Kajiva. This is um, a, on carburetors. I should mention actually the 900 IE, the IE stands for injection. It's got the 900 SS engine in it. And that's why it's such a revy high horsepower engine. So it's injection when the regular Kajiva customer uh, bike was on, still on carburetors. And that's what this is. Quite a fierce dry clutch 
such. Um, so this was just the age when bikes, the customer bikes were turning more into road bikes and they looked a bit like the Paris Dakar, but they weren't as close to the actual manufactured works bikes as that 900 IE is. So look the same, utterly different to ride. I would never take this one off road. It's too aggressive on the power delivery and too aggressive on the clutch, while this one is just a dream off road. So anyway, let's get the helmet on, take it outside now. Right, Kajiva IE. Yeah, it's quite a thing this. Um, so single disc, as I mentioned at the front, it's got all the right components on this bike. And then this mudguard at the front that is tucked away um, because it's streamlined and it's got a proper sort of fairing on it as well. I like to think of it, the easiest way to explain this bike, it's a bit like a homologation special, only a thousand made to sort of replicate the, I've just got a funny little choke here. It doesn't need choke, it always does this starting out, I don't know why. There we are. Yeah, just an enricher that for the injection system. No real flywheel. It's very light on the throttle. Quiet, because it's actually got the catalyst exhaust on it as well. Anyway, let's get going. Just a very different sort of bike to ride to the others. And it's just, look at that suspension swallow that. I wouldn't say it was a beginner's bike in any stretch of the imagination because that is quite an engine. But here, like there, just a slight twist of the throttle and it's, it's just spinning the rear wheel. It just wants to be at full throttle all the time. So obviously the biggest engine out of the group of the six bikes, which I term the collector bike, Dakar bikes, 900cc this one in its throat there and it easily has the most torque 78 newton meters i think the africa twin i think was 55 or something like that 58 uh, newton meters so dramatically more torque from that extra cc and you feel it everywhere you're never short of horsepower with this thing so it's 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 flighty it's very very sort of racy engine, you can almost cammy, like up there, you go, whoa, 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 that was a big jump. Just always going quicker than you see, but then I can, I can oversteer it like that. It's just very controllable. Whoa, and again, wheel spin again. machine out of here look at those just those revs of back end stepping out again it's one of those bikes when you're right on the road you're always going quicker than you really want to and it's sort of the same off road it's it's just built to win Dakar to go fast and it's not really tamed down for general consumption. I don't want to over egg it, but you need to be a bit of an expert rider to have the confidence to do what you want to do with this thing. Right, there we are, steepest bit, up it goes. No problem at all, in second even, with all the others. And then a little bit of, we'll see on the top. The other amazing thing with this thing is just the sheer amount of engine braking on it because of that big engine. They are in first gear, down there, not even touching the brakes, which for a big 900cc bike is amazing. Look at that go up there. What a, what a flipping thing this is. I'm just going to do this, go around the corner down here. over here again. Oh. Right, next stop. Let's see what it does on the sprint across the field. That might be quite something. What I love about this is it feels utterly natural on the pegs like this. 
I'm just standing here, this narrow bike, as I say, it's light, and it's just into the trees as ever. Right, let's see across here. This could be the bit hairy. I am sure it's going to be the fastest bike of them all. Uh, I just hope I can stop it at the end. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be a wits about you to, to stop this thing. That is easily the fastest of them all. Yeah. Whew. That was quite something. Wow we Yeah, I, th I thought that would be the fastest across the field and it certainly was. Um, I could have got another gear. I think we did 150 across that field. I think a 160 would have been on 100 miles an hour, but um, I wasn't going to be able to stop it if I put another gear in and just went right up to the can. But it gives you a sense of the horsepower and the performance of this Kajiva. Um, it is a 900 SS engine. It's fuel injection. It's basically a works bike. I was lucky enough to go to the Ducati Museum in Bologna and stand next to Eddie Orr Orioli's winning bike from the Paris Dakar, the 1990 bike, and it was very recognisable as this bike. It just had a longer suspension travel, um, a 21 inch wheel, no electric start, kick start, and just yeah, and a rear tank and things like that. But this is a really special bike. Um, it takes no prisoners because it is this homologation special. It's not sort of dumbed down at all. It's not a beginner's off-road bike, but in the collection I feel very lucky to have this bike in the collection and um, it's probably my favorite bike because it's given me those experience in this in the Sahara on a Dakar stage it wants to be flat out all the time it's only really happy when you've got it full throttle and it's peculiar because you don't realize how fast you're going because it's not a real bark this is a catalyst exhaust on here and it's all quite quiet it's just this induction bark and you're going so quick but it's got the suspension to take up all the bumps and things so a very special bike i hope you enjoyed this video and this look at this kajiva elephant 900 ie limited run bike if you have we'll keep watching because there'll be some more bike videos coming along very soon